Hey guys, my name is Lisa Lexis, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how I installed this synthetic wig. The quick and affordable way to have a slate hairstyle. Let's get right into it. Alright, so this is the Butter Lace. This is apparently HD Lace, so you know they got on the package talk about what lace. I'm going to show y'all. You can see that lace, but we're going to handle that. Anyways, it came in a really big box, like really big packaging. Like, why is it so big? But, whatever. This is synthetic hair, so you can't really put a flat iron to it or a curling iron. And if you do, you have to have it really low. I don't know why these wigs be coming and all this stuff. All these. The next, I get it. That's supposed to keep your curls and stuff in shape. But all that paper and tissue and shoebox cover cuttings. I don't know why they be putting all that stuff in there. Butter Lace is by Sensational. That's the name of it. I think that they make like packaged hair. Like the type of hair that we used to get back in the day or people used to get back in the day before bundles came out. I think that they make that kind of hair and human hair and it's actually really good quality. So I'm sure that this synthetic quality should be really good too. So as you can see in the inside it has the three combs, the two at the top, the one at the bottom. It also has the elastic band that you can adjust to make it tighter on your head. It's also a full lace frontal, so it's like a 13 by 4 frontal instead of, you know, like a 4 by 4 closure or a 5 by 5 closure. And then this is the length. It's a, looks like it's about like a, maybe a 24 inch, maybe like a 26 inch. And I'll show y'all how, how long it looks when it's actually on my head. But um, the color too is like a rose gold like a hint of like a pink bronze so like a like a pretty rose gold color this is that lace that they claim that you can't see you can definitely see the knots but i'm gonna show y'all how you can hide that so what i'm doing here is getting ready to cut the lace i always cut my lace like this like i just cut the a majority of it off of the wig first without it even being on my head this is very dangerous i would advise you to proceed with caution because once you clip that wig too much that's it and i've done it before and i guess that's what i get for doing it the lazy way but yeah i usually just clip most of this lace off of the wig before i actually put it on my head and so this is what it looks like once all that extra lace is cut off. Okay, so I always put a wig cap under my wig. This helps when you want to like create a part in your head. Like if you use a black wig cap, sometimes you can't really see the part. Like if you have a middle part or a side part. So I usually put like a light brown or a dark brown wig. Now you don't want to pull the wig too far down close to your eyebrows and you don't want to pull it too far back you kind of have to move it around and make sure that it's placed on your head the right way and this is how long it is it goes well past the chest area so it's really good length what I do now is I usually get some type of hair clip and I like to clip my bangs back so that you can see you know that frontal and we're gonna get ready to lay those baby's hair, baby hairs down. Now I usually just use an edge brush. I comb out how much hair I want first. You wanna make sure you don't pull too much hair out because if you pull too much hair out, your baby hairs are gonna look too thick. It's also best just to start with too little than too much because you can also always go back and add more so this is literally how thin i'm pulling out hair baby hair some people use the plucking method i would advise doing that with synthetic hair because 
you know the hair just falls out too easily and it makes the hair look really thin where you pluck it that's only for synthetic wigs with synthetic wigs i wouldn't advise doing any plucking Once I got the amount of baby hairs that I want out, I use a razor to kind of give it a more jagged cut. You don't want to cut the hair too perfectly because it just looks unnatural when you do it that way. But if you have scissors, you know, you can just cut it a little bit of in little tiny sections, a little bit of hair at a time. You know, I'm so grateful that girls started doing the whole baby hair things. Because one thing about my edges, I have 4C hair. So it ain't no edges being laid with my natural hair. It really is a process for me to lay my natural hair. So me doing it with the weave is just way more easier. And I like to cut the hair at an angle because that's going to make it easier to swoop the baby hairs. I start off by using any type of edge control because that just helps the hair lay in a direction that I want it to lay down in. It doesn't really like help the hair or anything to moisturize the hair. I don't think that you can really moisturize synthetic hair and at least if you do get a little bit of moisturizer in there it doesn't stay. So I usually use that so that the hair lays the way I want it. Then I go back and use a brush, the edge brush, and I start to swoop it in the pattern that I want. You can do your baby hairs however you want. If you see that you know your baby hairs are too long, you can go back and get the razor and cut them some more. If they're too thick, too thin, you can add you know some more hair. I like to do my baby hairs kind of longer on the forehead or lower on the forehead however you want to say it because I like to make my forehead look smaller it's so funny like when people see me without the wig it's like where all that forehead came from and it's like they has been under there it's been under the baby hairs in the wig and you know baby hairs are like eyebrows like you can literally play with them for hours I won't be dramatic. Minutes. A whole lot of minutes trying to get them perfect and trying to get them swooped in the way you want them to be swooped. I'm only laying baby hairs like right above my middle part. Even though, like I said earlier, you can do baby hairs around the whole perimeter of the head. I'm only doing above my middle part because I don't plan for my edges to be out like that. And I'm just doing it a quick and easy way. Now, I forgot to show y'all, but after I put the edge control and I got it laid in the shape that I want it to be laid in, I used the got to be glue. Well, not the glue, the styling gel, the one in the black bottle, not the spiking glue. I don't like to use the spiking glue only because it pulls out your hair. Like if I have the lace or the baby hairs on top of my natural hair, it pulls out your natural hair. But it does like have the lace more secure. So it just depends on what you want, security or healthy natural hair. I choose healthy natural hair. So black bottle me, please. Now I'm going to show y'all how we take care of that lace that you can see. Those knots, they got to go. I usually just get a skinny makeup brush, like an eyebrow brush. The smaller or the skinnier, the better, because you don't want to put too much in that part. And I get something that's close to my skin tone or a little bit lighter than my skin tone. 
and I just go and apply the foundation down the entire part. If you get some outside of the part, some of the foundation outside of the part, don't worry because I'm going to show you next what we do to take care of that. So now you want to get some black eyeshadow or whatever the color of your hair is, the roots of your hair. So like let's say you have a blue wig on, you want to get some blue eyeshadow, whatever is closest to the color of your hair. And then you're going to go outside of where you put the foundation to make the part a little bit skinny and so that it looks more natural. This is going to cover up any foundation that you got in the wrong place. And when you're applying this, you want to kind of apply it almost in a zigzag motion. You don't want to make a perfect line because then it's not going to look natural. And that's it. That's literally all I'm doing when I want to do my hair really quickly and really cheaply. To, let's be honest. Sometimes what I do is I'll stick pins in my hair, like just like little boppy pins. That way the wig doesn't fall off. But I mean, if you're not doing anything too crazy, your wig shouldn't be falling off like that. This wig was $45. Um, it's very good quality. You can find synthetic wigs for cheaper than that, but this is good quality. Like sometimes when you buy the wig and you first take it out the pack, it's a little bit flat and you kind of got to fluff it out a little bit, but this had a little bit of volume. It's also, you know, pretty good texture. You can see like I can rub, run my hands through the hair pretty decently. This comes in a lot of different other colors if y'all want to try any of those out. It also, the butter lace wigs, they also come in a lot of different styles, but that's it. If you're a baddie on a budget, it does not take much. I promise you that. Um, but I'll see y'all guys at my next one. Bye.